Welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. So in this video, I'm explaining about the concept of exception handling in Python. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of exception handling. So what is exception handling? So whenever we execute the program, we don't want our program to get crashed, right? So Whenever the error occurs in our program, we want our program to detect the errors and handle them properly. And we want our program to continue to run, right? So how to achieve that? So we want our program to run properly after detecting the errors and handling them correctly. So we can achieve that using the exception handling, right? Uh, to explain this in a more better way, we will consider an example of uh, uh, creating a function spam okay this uh, spam function contain a argument divided by okay so whenever uh, this spam function is going to take the argument so and it will uh, and uh, it will take that argument and it will uh, divide that uh, 42 number by the argument value what it has taken okay for example print spam 2 so spam of 2, spam is going to take the argument 2, you are going to divide the number 42 by 2. When you divide the number 42 by 2, you are going to get the output 21.0. In the same way, so this function you can observe, this function spam is returning some value. After dividing the number with a particular argument value that is passed, so it should return some value, right? That's why uh, this function is returning a value okay next spam 12 when you pass 12 to the divide by argument the 42 value is divided by uh, 12 after dividing 42 value it will get 3.5 so the function spam is going to return the value 3.5 but in the third case in the th third print statement spam 0 when you are passing 0 to the divide by argument you can't divide the number 42 by 0 because it is going to cause an error that is divided by 0 error right so how to handle this type of error so to handle this type of error uh, we use try and accept statements of python so what we can do means that code that could potentially have an error is put in a try class try class okay the program execution moves to the start of the following accept class if an error happens if an er error happens the program execution moves to the start of the following accept class now we will see to it how it works so same example so what we do means we can put the previous divide by zero code in a try class you can see uh, same spam spam function it has having the argument divide by but the only difference is in a try class i am uh, putting the divide code that is written 42 divided by the argument divided by okay so along with putting the code in a try class and also I'm using the accept, accept class, right? So the, this accept class contains the code to handle what happens when this errors. For example, uh, what happens when the error occurs? For example, so if a zero division error occurs, so this accept class is going to print error invalid argument. Okay, for example, same thing happens here. So when it comes to fam zero, so I try to divide 42 by 0 so so except class will right take that as a zero division error and it will print a message error invalid argument you can see next after that so it will take uh, the fourth print statement it will divide 42 by 1 and it will print 42.0 okay so in this way I can uh, cast the errors Right, I can catch the errors and I can handle them and I can continue the execution of the program using a try and accept class. And this is one more statement. So note that any error uh, that occur in function call in a try block will also be caught. So to explain this, consider the following program, um, which instead as the spam, spam calls in a try block. See. So same uh, function, so define spam divided by return 42 divided by, so so in try, uh, 
uh, in try class okay in spam i am uh, taking the return statement in try class i am including a except statement so what is the difference here right so any errors that occurs in function calls so this error that is occurring in function calls can be caught how see so here the output is 21.0 3.5 error invalid argument so after executing the third statement it is not moving to the fourth statement no that is the only difference why means when except class see the reason is print spam one is never executed that is the fourth statement is never executed why is never executed means because once the execution jumps to the code in the except class it does not return to the try class right sorry it does not return to the try class once it except comes across the error right it doesn't the the the, the for it doesn't move to the for statement that is spam one instead of that it will it will doesn't go to the try class it will doesn't go to the try class instead of that it will continue the normal execution it will continue the normal execution so fourth statement print spam one is never executed because it never go back to the whenever it comes across the hmm, uh, except class it does not go back to the try class instead it will continue as normal okay that's why so output occurs in third statement fourth statement never gets executed again it won't go to try class that is the difference okay so that's it guys hope you understood the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video